stunning. That's a nice solution there in this 144 inch VW Crafter L3H3 is you can see that um, the panel sticks out there and it allows, if you're tall, it allows you to put the bed sideways. Ah, the sound of willow upon leather on a summer's day in late June. <laughs> the Indians love cricket as much as we love curry. And you all recognise this park now, Slough Bottom Park. It means I have one of two emergencies, water and ore. Pool. Today, it's both. Furthermore, I believe my comb over needs a bit of work. There was no mirror in there, so you're going to have to watch me fix my comb over. All right, so this is your typical Widow's Peak building pattern. <laughs> your Jack Nicholson, your Ray Ridden, depending on how old you are. Although both of those were Gen X references. Right. Enough waffle. What you have to do first is brush it all forwards, <sighs> uh, then together. <sighs> then you rub the left rub the right and make minor adjustments <laughs> the day is coming soon where the comb over will not be possible but until then That is a 2003 Nissan Micra in a rather fetching shade of champagne. But what I wish to draw your attention to is the clutter. Uh, maybe it's just used as like a, a store. Great place for it. Um, uh, but is that what I look like when I'm parked up at night and all my crap is just piled up to the ceiling in the front? I look like a disorganized person's abandoned vehicle. So while I've been reading the code today, I've been trying to talk to myself in a Fauci voice and slowly perfecting it, you see. <laughs> and occasionally I, I slip into some Jordan Peterson where <laughs> things get a bit em emotional when I realize how close I'm getting to mastering the imitation. Out spraying today. I am really getting into these marinades from different supermarkets. Just cook it with a couple of veg. Bob's your uncle. Warning there shortly follows a boring talking head segment in which no action occurs whatsoever. If you are of a low attention span, please exit the video now. Mm. 
lamb shank with potato swede mash and broccoli in a Cabernet Sauvignon gravy. Perfection. This morning, at the time of recording, it's Midsummer's Day, exactly on the solstice. And uh, dried up thoughts, thoughts return to my conscious mind. Yes. So, um, the job uh, I'm on now ends today because it's going to user acceptance testing. Uh, and I've decided to have some mid-year resolutions, which is for the whole of the summer, I am going to go to bed at 10 o'clock every evening, wake up at 6 a.m. every morning, eat only wholesome foods, walk two miles a day, and try and get other exercise in too. And, inspired by um, Sai's very kind throwing me in of the deep end into um, an industrial code base um, that's completely new to anything I've done before, especially having been off for two years, I'm inspired to learn that code base and reprise my career. It's good to have goals. It's good to be fired up. And uh, that's assuming, of course, there are no more silly buggers. In which case, <laughs> I've got a solar panel and three months storable food under the van. I hope it doesn't come to that. But on the bright side, I've been reawakened by uh, working on this computer programming project and also shocked how just out of the picture for two years, the skill set has moved on so much that I just feel like a rank amateur even attempting to uh, do the basic stuff. Um, and even then, it's had to be code reviewed and uh, edited. <laughs> you know, something that I thought, yeah, nailed it, perfect. No, I have a lot to learn. And uh, I have learned a lot. And it has inspired me to raise my game this summer and hopefully beyond. There's always, of course, the plan B, which I have now, having gone through the driving course, is that I could drive up to seven and a half ton uh, lorries uh, for de multi-drop deliveries. Uh, obviously, that's a tough, physically demanding job, but that would be congruent with the other goals. And also, once you've been unemployed for a year, uh, they're less patient with you. You know, you've got to have these weekly job centre visits and checks on work applied for, and that is a living hell. That, that cannot be a scenario anymore. Any one of you out there that's been unemployed for more than a year and does all of the you know, 40 hours a week of job applications and writing down your, you know, the trace of all the work you've applied for, then going in every week and then going through all that just for £325 a month. Wow. I, I, I take my imaginary hat off to you. Right, it's 6am.
Time to get up. Down there is a very skilled fly tipper because what he's done is he's thrown a load of crap down there but covered it with a dusting of earth and flat stones very nicely done almost environmentally friendly fly tipping now social justice warriors among you and I hope there are none of you watching this channel or even existing at all will have noticed that I assumed his gender well <laughs> there are only two to choose from 50-50 although not really because there is a profile of the kind of people that fly tip and I could I could assume their accent too but I, th I think that's damaging to most Irish people because they're pretty good folk on Ireland it's just just few bad apples you know bit po boys in the barrel don't they Okay. Alright, mid year's resolution. Smaller portions. This is only two shredded wheat. By the way, I'm loving this Romanian milk. Multe mushk farte mur. I don't know who I think it is. Uh, to all you Romanian viewers, I'm sorry I butchered your language, but I love your milk. <laughs> 